Well, a Groveport man blames his heroin addiction for the beating death of his grandfather. Matthew Casey heard his fate today after killing his grandfather two years ago. ABC 6's Lisa Rontala tells us if his family agrees and is willing to forgive. I deeply regret going to my grandparents' house. Matthew Casey said he loved his grandfather, 78-year-old Carl Burris, like his own father. I would never have caused this if I wasn't using drugs. But it wasn't love that entered this Groveport home two years ago. It was heroin addicted Casey who killed his grandfather by beating him in the head, he washed his hands in the bathroom sink, and then looted the bedroom, taking jewelry and his grandfather's coin collection. They're so desperate that they end up doing uh, very heinous crimes. Casey's attorney said his client became addicted to Percocets after knee surgery 10 years ago. The second surgery three years ago led him to heroin. He would never have hurt him if he were in his right mind. Casey's family says not all relatives are on the same page just yet, but even his grandmother, the one who discovered her husband's body, told Casey she still loved him. She says those words just off camera. I would like to say to Master, I have forgiven you. You need to know that. It would be what our father would want. It's who he was. A deep Christian man who would not have held this against him. So they say they'll stand by Casey until his release in 24 years, as they hope he'll now turn to treatment to get the help he needs. Lisa Rontala, ABC 6 News.